Hi, everyone, and welcome to The Neil Haley Show. You can check me out on Twitter, at TotalTutor and NeilHaley.com. And I tell you, this uh, is like the big buzz. I've been watching it on when I've been watching all my favorite shows on ABC. So I'm excited to welcome the program, Jennifer Shemke of ABC's Dirty Dancing. Jennifer, thanks for calling. How are you? Yes. You're, You're ex- welcome. Thank you. I'm doing great. How are you? Fa- fantastic. you got to be excited uh, about tonight. I mean, especially with the, the the we all love Dirty Dancing when it first came out, and to have this remake and such a talented cast, you got to be excited about tonight. I am so excited. Yeah, I don't quite know what to do with myself. I think I'm going to go to a Korean spa and relax. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm super excited. <laughs> I'm I'm sure for sure. So tell me specifically the story of how you auditioned for this, and then we'll we'll talk about your character. Yeah, so um, it was really exciting. I actually was in New York, um, and my agent in New Orleans sent me uh, the audition, so I had to put it on tape. Um, And my friend Izzy, who is a dear friend of mine and also an actor, she's very technically savvy, so she was like, I'll tape you. So she came over, we had a few laughs, you know, and I kind of um, dressed myself in a way that I thought spoke to to the the era and so forth, and... um, and we just laid down a few takes, and the rest was history. Awesome. And then when you heard the call, you're like, yeah. holy cow, and you heard about what was happening. You're like, oh, wow, a remake of something yeah. like this? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Totally, totally. And the, the, um, the film had such a definite presence in my, in my pre-teen years and, you know, and beyond. Um, it was one of those projects that I thought, oh, my gosh, this is like, this is sent from the celestial atmosphere. I, you know, if, if this were mine, I would be so over the moon. So, um, yeah, I, I kind of, after the audition, I, you know, I put the script, um, in a little, uh, closet. Um, but I always kept this kind of sparkly hope in my heart. Um, yeah. And when, when I got the role, I was actually visiting my family in Northern California and, um, and, uh, it was, it was just, it was, I think it was my mom's birthday, actually. So, oh wow, it's like a double celebration. All right, so tell me about your character now, and, and kind of remind us of that character in the movie. Is is it the same character that was in the the movie? Your character, right? So actually, so the character's name is Esther Feinberg, and um, she's new to this version. Um, although I I like to think of her as um, you know as being in the original, but just you know you didn't you didn't hear from her at all, um, or you weren't expressly aware of her presence um but definitely in an atmospheric sense someone like esther feinberg was in the original um i think that in this version the the writers were really smart to um to stick very close to the original scripts but also expand some of the relationships and themes um just to differentiate it enough and not you know try and make it this carbon copy but more of an homage um, and so I think that our characters, um, my, my character and my husband, Leon Feinberg's characters, um, were written in in order to support the expanded um, focus on the relationship of baby parents. Yes. Um, I think that our characters are sort of a what not to do uh, when it comes to marriage. <laughs> so your characters are thrown you in know. compared to when baby's parents were more of a so interesting the, the putting this out there and knowing more of a backstory in this story compared to the movie it sounds like that's what they wanted. Uh, could you say that one more time? The backstory. Sorry. They wanted the they wanted the backstory. Actually... That's okay. No, um they I'm wanted they want Jennifer they wanted more of a backstory a little bit with some of the new characters created right. for this. Yeah. Right. Exactly, exactly. So, right. So they, um, I think that they, yeah, they wanted more of a backstory and more of a a look into some of the characters that you loved, but you didn't really get their point of view as much, you know, with so much from baby's perspective. Um, So you kind of get to see where other characters are coming from in relation to that. And this is an all-star cast for people that have not heard about tonight. So tell us some of the major characters that are uh, the, the stars that are going to be in this in, in this uh, film. It, it's it's uh, uh, this original. Uh, 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 tell us. I mean, I, I, like I saw the list and I was like, holy cow! It's a really really good cast. Yeah. Oh my gosh. You know, I, when I when the audition came my way, um, I, I wasn't you know privy to all of the a you know megawatt 
uh, star power that was involved. Um, it's, it's really in no particular order. Deborah Messing and Katie Seagal and uh, Billy D. Williams, of all people. Wow. Um, yeah. Sarah Hyland, of course, Abigail Breslin. Um, and then I think they were really wise to cast a newcomer as, um, as Johnny, you know, uh, so that, uh, you know, people weren't making such a strong star connection between, you know, the actor playing him and, and Patrick Swayze. Um, oh, yeah. but, uh, and then it was really kind of cool because, because, um, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm getting it. I'm actually getting a ticket right now in my car. Uh, <laughs> the, I think that the man issuing me the ticket didn't know that I was in the car and he thought, oh my goodness, how embarrassing. We might have to revisit this, this part of the interview or maybe just lend it some color. Now, it, 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 it always blends um, color. Trust me, you wouldn't believe the people I've interviewed in different positions in, in my career. Don't worry about it. No, it's fine. I just feel bad for you. <laughs> no, so so let's let's segue. Yeah, 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 let, let's segue away from ABC's Dirty Dancing. Everyone's tuned in tonight, but you have two major things also coming up. You you play Gidget and and uh, tell us a little bit about that uh, project and what's happening. Uh, the character Gidget you're going to play the, 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 uh, as a. Uh, a f- happy therapist in, in a, an anticipated show <laughs> called uh, Magic Funhouse. So tell us a bit about Magic Funhouse. Yes. Okay. So this is kind of a fabulous, a fabulous project. Um, so Magic Funhouse is the brainchild of a um, gentleman named Brandon Rogers, um, who's, I, I believe, a comedic genius and just a visionary. Um, and I met him when he was kind of before he... he uh, blew up, so to speak, uh, at a film festival in Northern California where we both had films that we've written and directed. And in the film that I had in the in the festival, I wrote a little cameo in for myself. And he so loved that, my work in that, that he said, you know, please keep in touch. Um, and then fast forward to 2016, he blew up on YouTube, uh, and rightfully so. He's been at it a long time, making these amazing hilarious videos, and um, and got funding to do this show, Magic Funhouse, which is on fullscreen.com, um, sort of a, a Netflix-esque, um, similar, you know, uh, setup to Netflix, so it's called fullscreen.com. And so he wrote me a role in season one, uh, which is Gidget, who is a, she's a laughter therapist. Um, she's based on one of the um, comedy characters that I wrote for myself. I That's something I do. Oh, cool. I write these different comedic characters. And so he kind of had one of my characters, Patty, in mind for creating Gidget. Um, but she's, she's a laughter therapist with a definite uh, dark secret side. Um, and then in season two, I just finished my role in season two, um, and that's a completely different character named Mama Gladys. And I don't want to give too much away about her, but she's, she's pretty empathetical to Gidget. Um, definitely oh, cool. a, a harsh... And maniacal presence um, in that in that show, but I, I really recommend watching Magic Funhouse if you get if you get a chance. It's it's a real ride. And, and also, you're creating content as well based on a novel. Tell us about that too. Yes. Yeah. Do you say based on a novel? Oh, I think you're referring to you may be referring to a novel that I I co-authored um, called Illegitimate, which is available on Kindle. Um, that was really um, amazing. It wasn't my story. Uh, it's the story of a woman uh, who, in 19, late 1960s, before Roe versus Wade, she gets pregnant in high school. And uh, she's just this nice, you know, wholesome girl from San Diego. Um, and, and she finds herself in this situation, and she is sent to a, a Salvation Army run kind of home for wayward girls. And it's just a really interesting look at. Um, at the ways that our societal views of of such things can can affect the lives of the people who are you know in those situations, and it's a really kind of an, it's a it's a nice time piece, um, but it still definitely has ripples into today. And then so that um, and, you know, so then you're gonna film and you're gonna take that into a film at one point that you co-authored. Well, you know. We've been talking about it. I think it would make an incredible film and um, maybe even a series. Um, and there's so many fabulous uh, female roles in it. I mean, it's it's chock full of women of, of all walks of life and um, and their stories and takes. So I really think it would be 
Uh, great. We, we've kind of been talking about it a little bit. She has some contacts that she thinks would be good collaborators as well. Um, as for original you know, content that I'm creating, aside from that, it's um, I have some ideas based on the characters that I mentioned before. Um, I started to do this show a few years back. I did a trailer for it where, where the characters kind of go out on the street and interview people. Oh, and, cool. Um, and then they have kind of a an office life, you know, they all work for the same, uh, the same correspondent company. So they go out and they do their correspondent jobs. And then, um, so I would essentially be playing, you know, most of the characters involved. Um, although I would love to involve some of my very talented friends. So you like to do multiple um, characters. In the early stage. It sounds like you like to do multiple do. characters, Jennifer, especially when you talked about, uh, magic Funhouse and how you're going from one character to the next character. You're interested. You like that whole character acting thing for sure. Uh, I can't believe again tonight, yes. ABC dirty dancing, check you out. And where can we find information on you? Are you on Twitter that people could tweet you out and stuff and root you on tonight and all that stuff? Where can we follow you and find info on you? That would be amazing. Um, so yeah, my Twitter is at Shemke, which is my last name, uh, S C H E M K E. Um, I'm on Instagram. Uh, I'm at the Shempire, uh, S C H E M P I R E. And then my website, which is uh, jennifershemke.com. Well, fantastic. Thanks for taking the time, especially an exciting night for you uh, as well to take the time to come uh, on the show. And uh, best of luck in all your great ventures. Yeah, and and you're you. welcome to come back on anytime when you have new stuff to talk about. So thanks again for calling, Jennifer. Oh, God. I would love it. I'm off to the Korean ball. All right. Take care. Thanks again. <laughs> thanks, take care. Okay. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye. 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 You're listening to The Neil Haley Show, and we'll be back in just a moment.